Greetings exiles. It's time for a new journey. Fresh start, no currency and no progression. That's what I love. I decided to go with Pathfinder this time. It's a very good ascendancy for Magic Find because we can easily use the Divination Distillate Flask and that's a lot of quantity and rarity from one cheap item. Also increased flask effect and charges gain adds quality of life. And Nature's Reprisal Node gives us a lot of damage if we use Chaos Skill. Speaking of Chaos Skills, I will be using Caustic Arrow. To tell you the truth, at the end of this journey I will probably change my main skill, but for now I'll stick with Caustic Arrow because it's a pretty solid choice. As for my Wildwood Ascendancy it will be Warden of the Maji. I am not planning to use skill gems in my boots and helmet and it will give me a lot of resistance and extra movement speed. Which is great in the beginning because it will allow me to use pretty cheap gear. Also the other nodes will be pretty useful in my build. Wildwood Primalist is also a very good choice, but good charms are expensive so I won't get much use out of it in the beginning. That's my plan for the starting point of my journey and now let's see what interesting things happen to my character. I'll start with a classic purchase. That's a pretty good start. A little starting capital I'm definitely going to need. The 5 hour tutorial is over, but before I get to the maps let's make a few purchases. Some new bow. I managed to find a pretty good starter bow. 5 links armor. The best ring in the game. Also waiting for my favorite comments that it's all a cheat and such a venter's gamble is worth at least 4 divine orbs. And the last purchase. The divination distillate. This is what my character looks like. A real zero. Also, my currency stash is completely empty. A perfect start. So let's go to the maps and try to earn some currency, buy some new gear, and make a hero out of this zero. My first T1 unique item, nothing special, but a pretty good start. Wow. A good jewel, I can definitely use it in my build. Now that's my first valuable loot. Sort of. I won't open it of course, I'd rather sell it because I need currency. Sometimes lucky. Easy money. No way. Good loot. Let's talk a little bit about this build now, because there are a few questions I'd like to answer. First of all, many of the viewers have problems with the Divination Distillate because this flask doesn't work for them. In most cases you need petrified blood for it to work properly. But we're Pathfinders so we don't need that aura. We have a Master Surgeon. And if we take this mastery we can use the Divination Distillate at any time and most importantly its effect doesn't end when we have full life. Which in the end gives us a lot of quantity and rarity and the more we have these parameters the more we can find loot. Next, some of you may be surprised that I am not using Arrow Nova support because it is a mandatory support gem for Caustic Arrow. But personally I prefer Volley and Mirage Archer support on white and yellow maps. I don't really care about coverage, I just need to finish most of Atlas as soon as possible. But eventually I will add Arrow Nova support. And the last topic is Tincture. Unfortunately we can't use Increased Items Rarity because it only works if we kill with weapons and we have Damage Over Time build and it doesn't count. Sag. But we can use other Tinctures. Like this one. Culling Strike will work because Caustic Arrow and Toxic Rain have a hit effect. Also Nature's Concoction will work because our skills have a hit component in addition to the Damage Over Time effect. I've earned some currency and it's time for some new upgrades. New Quiver. A good belt for a poor magic finder. A talisman with quantity. Because I'm very greedy. And for my viewers, I would recommend buying this one unique amulet instead of a talisman. Because caustic arrow scales very well with levels and this amulet will give you a lot of damage. 
Personally, I will definitely swap this amulet for replica Dragonfang's flight later, but for now I will be a little greedy. Helmet with items rarity. Empower level 3. Vol Caustic Arrow. A very important purchase because it gives us a great single target damage. So I recommend making this purchase as early as possible. And a new bow. I bought this 6 links base. And use these essences. The ideal is to find plus 1 to level of socketed gems. That's it. Oh no. There's no free suffix, so it's time for skillful decision making. Easy game. Benchcraft. And I've got a pretty good starting bow. My currency stash is empty again, and that means it's time to get back to the maps. But first, let's get our first Void Stones. Good. Now we can do the real magic find. My favorite sound. This is a bad loot goblin. Good loot goblin. Finally, just what I need. Nice. Very nice. Now let's talk about my Magic Find Atlas and MF strategy. Although many of you have probably guessed what it is. It's T7 Cemetery with an Abyss. At the moment this is the most popular strategy and many of you know or have heard about it. You will need at least this Atlas and Gilded Abyss and Reliquary Scarabs. If your budget allows it, add Divination Scarab and Abyss Sextant and you are ready to go. It's a pretty simple strategy, but it's very, very effective. I will not talk about it in detail because on YouTube you can find a lot of videos about it. Only lazy people or some lazy cat did not make a video about this topic. The only thing I want to add is that in the last few days the prices of Scarabs and Sextants have increased significantly and if you want to use this strategy you will need some budget at least 10 divine orbs but trust me it is worth it because the strategy works you can start with cheaper scarabs but it won't be as effective but as a starting option why not personally I started out with cheap scarabs and what I had in my stash but as soon as I found my first lucky drop I immediately bought the right scarabs I earned some currency and decided to add to the build one large cluster with unspeakable gifts and one medium cluster I need more damage because empowered monsters are pretty tough, and clusters are one of the main sources of our damage. Right now I'm focusing on T7 Cemetery with Abyss and even with a scuff build like mine we can make good money. It's not the fastest build with a million DPS, but even it fulfills its purpose. You can check out my POB and see for yourself that this is very basic gear that is available to everyone. And with these items, you can start your entry-level magic find. At this stage, I could afford something more expensive and with more DPS, but the main goal of my videos is not to flex with mirror tier items, but to show the character evolution process. Although to be honest, the damage is a bit lacking, especially if we collect a lot of wisps. And I would like to add more expensive items to increase my DPS. But explosions and Vol Caustic Arrow help us relatively quickly kill monsters from the Abyss. So don't forget about the Vol version of Caustic Arrow, it's a lot of damage, even with bad items. And overall the build turned out to be pretty playable, especially considering how much currency I spent on it, as well as my current item's quantity and rarity. We also have relatively good defense. We have almost 4000 health, 100% spell suppression, good movement speed and recovery which will allow us to die very rarely. 
But don't relax because we will have to fight a lot of abyss monsters and some of them are very annoying especially if they have a combination of bad modifiers. But don't forget that this is just the beginning of my journey and there are many more purchases and improvements that will make this character a real hero. So far I am slowly but surely earning my divine orbs and saving up currency for new items. But that's a story for the next video. Thank you all for watching, commenting and giving me advice. I appreciate it. Also I will be very grateful for your likes, subscriptions and comments. And if you have any questions, join my Discord channel. The link you will find in the description of this video. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.